Hi everyone, welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this Zalman liquid CPU cooling system. This is the CNPS 20LQ. So here's a closer look at the box and just to run down the specs for you guys over here. Uh, the radiator dimensions are 153 millimeters by 120 by 38 millimeters. Uh, the weight is 195 grams on the water block. It's made of copper with aluminum fins. Uh, the fan you get is a 120 millimeter fan, a uh, typical width of 25 millimeters. The fan speed ranges from 900 to 2000 RPMs, plus or minus 10%. It's got a long life bearing. Uh, it uses pulse width modulation, so it can modulate the fan speed depending on the amount of heat that's generated. Uh, it's a four pin connector, of course, for the PWM. Uh, the duty cycle ranges between 30 to 100%, and it's a 12 volt fan. Also, you have uh, compatible CPU sockets down here, which is the Intel sockets 2011, 1366, 1156, and 1155 for most of your uh, Intel second and third generation core i5, i7 CPUs, i3 as well. And uh, AMD sockets FM1, AM3+, AM3, AM2+, and AM2. So we shall now take a look inside the box to see what's in there. Some foam. Here is a user's manual for the CNPS 20 LQ that will guide you through the installation process. Folds out and it has picture diagrams, which I'm holding upside down. There we have it. Picture diagrams of all the parts included as well as the steps for installation so you can get through that nice and easy. Also, we have the liquid cooler itself, closed loop cooler and radiator. As you notice, the radiator itself, uh, there are all the aluminum fins. Uh, there's the thicker side there versus the 120 millimeter wide side there. Actually has blue caps on either end, which is uh, unique. I have not seen that yet before. Here's your rubber tubing going over to the cold plate and the water block. Uh, you get a three pin connector there to provide power to the uh, pump inside the water block. Let me just pop off the protective cap there. There's your copper cold plate. Uh, it comes with some thermal paste pre-applied and uh, these teeth are used to install it. Once you have the uh, mounting bracket installed, you simply pop it onto your motherboard, uh, twist it, and then it locks into place. Moving along, we have an included 120 millimeter fan right there. There's the four pin fan connector for PWM control. And uh, it's got the nice Zalman logo there as well. Finally, here are your mounting, here is your mounting hardware. And let me uh, unbag this and we'll take a closer look. So here's all your mounting hardware, and bear in mind we've got hardware for um, two different types of sockets here, plus 2011. Uh, so these brackets are for Intel, these are for AMD, and uh, what you're going to do when you start out is first make sure you've determined what type of socket you're using. If you're using Intel, uh, you'll use this pack back plate behind your motherboard, and that will be if you're using 1366, 1155, 1166, or 775. Also, if you're using AMD, you'll use this plastic back plate behind the motherboard. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and set this up for, let's say, 1155 or 1156. You have these metal plugs here. They're threaded on one side, so you'll just feed these into the corresponding uh, holes. They are marked on the back of this, so you can tell which one's which without referring to the manual. Once you've inserted these, you'll be set to go for the back plate. And uh, you can use the included adhesive strips right here to actually secure that to the back of your motherboard and then you don't have to worry about it. Just make sure you line up these little threaded screws. Then you'll want to set up the actual cold plate here uh, with the rest of the brackets. So you'll take this bracket and uh, again just doing the Intel solution here. Um, bear in mind also I, I, I skipped one thing. Uh, these little uh, screws here are used for socket 2011 and if you have socket 2011 you do not use to, need to use the plastic back plate behind the motherboard, just use the default one uh, universal back plate that comes with socket 2011. So next up you're going to take the little plastic clips here, one goes on the bottom of this and one goes on the top. Uh, you can twist it around according to the manual to um, accurately fit Intel or, uh, or actually the, the various Intel sockets. So here's just a closer look at the little retention clips. Uh, you can twist it around so it'll give you sort of an inner position or an outer position. Uh, since I'm doing 1155, I want the inner position. Let me just take this little back clip. We also switch it so the uh, gap is on the inside. Snap it in place, and then you're all set. So I do that with all four corners, and then you'll take this ring and actually attach it to the cold plate and pump itself, just like that. Make sure that you uh, uh, 
can rotate that to the position you want so when you actually fix this to your motherboard, you'll, your tubes will be in the right position. Um, and then you have this last little plastic ring here that you just clip in place and that will hold this all together. And uh, it's just got four clips on either side that once attached will keep this secure. And that's four. And there you go. So there's the cold plate all assembled with the clips and the retention bracket. And as you can see with the um, metal threading properly aligned, that lines up with uh, the bracket that would be underneath the motherboard. And then uh, the last thing you would do is actually take these thumb screws right here and uh, you'd bolt that through the uh, clips and tighten that to the bracket behind the motherboard. Uh, I should mention that again for 2011 systems you use these shorter uh, thumb screws right there and uh, those will bolt directly to the socket 2011 retention bracket. Um, Oh, I should also mention you can do these uh, with your fingers and uh, tighten them down nice and tight. You also have some Phillips head uh, screws in there. It's best not to over tighten these, generally speaking, um, but if, for instance, if it's stuck in the future, you can use those to back it off a little bit. Last piece of hardware in here I haven't mentioned is just this little baggie um, with some longer screws and shorter screws, and that's actually for attaching the fan. Uh, the fan itself has some recessed edges, as you can see around the side. So you'll want to use that on the interior of the radiator because that does give a bit of uh, a bit more clearance for the rest of the hardware in your system. Uh, so you can use that <coughs> on the back of the radiator. Oh wait, that'll be on the inside. So you can use that on the inside of the radiator, so like that, and uh, mount that directly to the back of your case. Or if you have another t uh, 120 millimeter fan, you can mount that here and uh, do a push-pull configuration. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the Zalman CNPS 20 LQ Closed Loop Liquid CPU Cooling Solution. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.